a celebration. I don't have one of those whistle party blower things, but I do have this, so. <laughs> Hi, so about two months ago now, I hit 100 subscribers. That's so exciting, and I wanted to do something to celebrate it. I know it was two months ago, so this video is kind of late celebrating, but it is still gonna be a celebration nonetheless. I thought I would make 100 cookies for 100 subscribers, and while I'm doing that, I will be giving 100 facts about myself. I googled 100 facts about me, and a website came up with a list of 100 questions about yourself. I wrote them out and answered them all on these. Yeah, it's a lot, but we are gonna tackle it together. Oh, thank you so much, by the way, for 100 subscribers. That is so awesome, and I'm so grateful for it. You're probably gonna leave this video knowing too much about me, but, um, Sorry, I don't know. Let's get started. I'm gonna try to make 100 cookies out of this tub. It says there's 76 servings, so I figure if I just do like smaller cookies, I'll have enough for 100. She says, hopefully. Okay, question number one. Who is your hero? My parents. Or Dolly Parton. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, Hawaii. <gasps> or North Carolina. Hmm, that's a quite a broad spectrum of places. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is losing someone that I love. In my opinion, it's one of the worst biggest fears you can have because it's the fear that is inevitably gonna come true. Because like, let's say your biggest fear is drowning. There's a pretty good chance that you're gonna live your whole life without drowning. But like, losing somebody you love, it's gonna happen one day. And I'm terrified for that day. Anyway, moving on. What is your favorite family vacation? Disney World, hands down. You know what? It's actually one of the only family vacations we've ever taken. Well, actually, we went to Colorado one time, but I got altitude sickness and threw up a lot, so wasn't that great. What would you change about yourself if you could? My nose, my forehead, my metabolism. Personality-wise, though, I have a tendency to be a little bit annoying and pushy sometimes. Don't love that. What makes you really angry? I don't know. Fake friends? No, animal cruelty. That makes me angry, because there's just no point. What motivates you to work hard? Having a passion for whatever it is I'm doing, but that sounds really cheesy. But it's true. What is your favorite thing about your career? I'm a nanny, so the flexibility of my schedule. What is your biggest complaint about your job? The kids. Not all of them. I actually babysit for some really sweet kids, but some of the kids have actually been pretty rotten. What is your proudest accomplishment? Starting a YouTube channel. This YouTube channel that I just did 100 subscribers on. Thank you. What is your child's proudest accomplishment? I've never birthed a child, therefore I don't have an accomplishment to be proud of. What is your favorite book to read? My favorite book that I've ever read? Probably And Then There Were None. It's a mystery. I had to read it for school. But I really liked it. What makes you laugh the most? My sister. That bitch is hilarious. What was the last movie you went to and what did you think of it? Last week my mom and I went to see Mean Girls, the musical. It was okay. It was fun. I liked it. But my mom loved it though. What did you want to be when you were little? When I was little, I had my heart set on being a veterinarian. But then as I got older, I realized I would not be able to put an animal down. Um, so that dream changed really fast. What does your child want to be when he she grows up? Once again no child uh, but hopefully something that they love that also just happens to make a lot of money if you could choose to do anything for a day what would it be be an actress i think that would be so fun but i cannot act unfortunately what is your favorite sport to watch or play to watch basketball specifically auburn basketball but to play tennis would you rather ride a bike ride a horse or drive a car all three just in different situations like if i'm on a wilderness trail i want to ride a bike if i'm meeting up with friends i want to be on the horse but if it's raining i want to be in a car what would you sing at karaoke night nothing i would stand in the crowd watching everybody else sing occasionally bobbing up and down what two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most <laughs> um okay kind of personal but I'll tell you, during most of the year, the pop station, but in the summer, the country station. Because in my opinion, summer is the only acceptable time to listen to country music. Would you rather wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Mow the lawn. Because I've always wanted to operate one of those, like, riding lawn mowers. But if I ever ran over anything, I would need therapy. If you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Oh, what? Because I'm a woman, those are the only three things I could possibly need help with. Cleaning cleaning. If you could eat only one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Just a spud, add chicken, add cheese with two cups of ranch with a side of pickles from McAllister's. That is my favorite meal of all time. Who is your favorite author? Helen Keller. Have you ever had a nickname? Oh boy, have I. P. PM. PMP. Pimp Daddy. Putin my rear. Pat in my rear. Putin. Vlad Putin. Ew. We don't acknowledge that one anymore, though. Do you like or dislike surprises? I like surprises, because they're fun. They keep me on my toes. In the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read? All of them. 
Just depends on what mood I'm in that night. Okay, our first 28 cookies on the pan. Is this too many cookies to put on a pan? Probably, but we, but, I don't know, we'll see. Pan number two. Would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? Oh, that's hard. Well, Hawaii, because I want to live in Hawaii, but Alaska is really beautiful too. I'm going to say both. Hawaii first and then Alaska. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job? Win the lottery. Does that make me lazy? Who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? Oh, the list is long. And my parents. If money was no object, what would you do all day? I would buy everyone everything all the time. I'd be like Mr. Beast on steroids. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? I would go to the year 2000 because everything was happier and calmer back then. But I was a baby and so I didn't get to enjoy it. How would your friends describe you? I don't know. Ask them. What is the best gift you've been given? The only thing coming to mind right now is my Barbie dream house when I was four years old. That was like the best. My mom! Hello? What are your hobbies? Making YouTube videos, but also just doing loads of hard drugs. What is the worst gift you have received? That question is so mean. Oh, I know, actually. One time I was at a Christmas party. There were like 50 people at this party and we were all playing Dirty Santa. One rule for the Dirty Santa, the Dirty Santa was gonna be real gifts. They didn't want anybody bringing gag gifts. They didn't want somebody who brought a real gift to end up with a gag gift. And everybody followed that rule, except for one person. And guess who got their gift? Me, I did. And guess what the gift was? Sorry, I'm gonna wash my hands. Sorry, I was talking with my hands and I've got stuff all over them, so it was not working. Okay. Guess what that gag gift was? It was this big bag. I stick my hand into the bag. I feel something... wet? Butter. It was a stick of softened butter that I just stuck my hand into. But that wasn't all that was in the bag. No, I also got a pair of her brother's used pajama pants, a gift card to McDonald's with zero money on it, and a Hershey bar that had been opened and also had melted and was also all over my hand. <laughs> Needless to say, I was not a fan of that particular game of Dirty Santa. Okay, next question. Aside from necessities, what one thing could you not go a day without? I mean, probably my phone. Sorry to be that person, but it's true. List two pet peeves. Number one, when two people are talking at the same time and neither one of them stops, so they're both just saying their sentence. I hate that. It makes me overstimulated and I can't even hear what either one of them was trying to say. Number two, passive aggressive comments. Don't be a bitch. Where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully doing YouTube or either a teacher, maybe having a boyfriend. How many pairs of shoes do you own? I don't know. Hold on. The answer is 25. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Oh, the ability to fly, for sure. Ooh, also the ability to control time. What would you do if you won the lottery? I would buy a mansion at the beach, but I would also like do charity work and stuff too. What form of public transportation do you prefer? Airplane. I love the experience of flying, especially airports. I don't know why I love them so much, I just do. But I also think traveling by train would be pretty fun, but like I've never done it, so I can't say for sure if it would be my favorite. So, for now, airplanes. What is your favorite zoo animal? A lion. Minus the witch in the wardrobe. If you could go back in time to change one thing about your life, what would it be? I finally convinced my parents to let me move schools in 11th grade, and it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. So, I'd probably go back and try to get them to let me change schools sooner. What is your middle name? Marie! Yeah, I know. It's like super unique. You've probably never heard of it before. How many pillows do you sleep with? Three. I love my pillows. What's the longest you've gone without sleep and why? 30 hours. It was actually a few weeks ago. What happened was I could not sleep all night long and I had to be at a babysitting job at 7. The babysitting job was from 7 to 6 p.m. And then by the time I got home, ate dinner, and showered, it had been 30 hours since the last time I had slept. What's the tallest building you've been to the top in? I truly have no idea. Sorry, I'm sure that was the question you were just dying to know. Okay, 50 questions down, 50 more to go. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? Um, intelligence for looks. Sorry, I'm like super shallow. How often do you buy clothes? Really not that often. Maybe like once every few months. Have you ever had a secret admirer? <laughs> no. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas, closely followed by Halloween. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? Um. Gotten piercings at Claire's. What was the last thing you recorded on TV? I think it was an Auburn basketball game like three years ago. Second pan. Oops, didn't think that one through. What was the last book you read? People We Meet on Vacation. It was it was pretty good. I liked it. What's your favorite type of foreign food? Chinese food. And you want to know what's weird? I almost never eat it. I really like it. Don't know why I deny myself pleasure in that way. Are you a clean or a messy person? Clean. Being messy makes me anxious. How many blankets do you sleep with? Three. 
I love my blankets. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? When I'm in a hurry, like when I have to babysit or something, I sleep for the most amount of time possible. So I've learned I can actually get ready in 15 minutes when forced to. When I'm not forced to, maybe like 30 minutes. What kitchen appliance do you use every day? A microwave. And people say that's not really good for you. But what is, really? What's your favorite fast food chain? Panera Bread. What's your favorite family recipe? Oh, they're um, they're called Icebox Cookies. My aunt makes them. I have no idea what's in them or how she makes them, but they are amazing. Do you love or hate roller coasters? I love roller coasters, but I do have to say the other day I saw clips of Final Destination 3 on TikTok. Kind of scared to ride one now. So what's your favorite family tradition? Every Christmas Eve, me, my sister, and my dad squeeze oranges so we can have fresh orange juice for mimosas on Christmas. We listen to Christmas music, we take pictures. It's really fun. What's your favorite childhood memory? When I was little and I'd go to Disney with my family, there was always something really fun that would happen. So, Disney trips with the fam. What's your favorite movie? It is The Parent Trap, the one with Lindsay Lohan. Not another one. How old were you when you learned Santa wasn't real? I was in fourth grade. It was a sad, sad day. Are you a glass half full or a glass half empty type of person? I'm a glass half full type of person. Or at least I, I try to be. What's the craziest thing you've ever done in the name of love? Never been in love. What three items would you take on a deserted island? Okay, I'm very strategic about this question. Number one, seeds to grow food. Number two, the world's largest water bottle. And number three, a machete. Because I feel like a machete will come in handy in any wilderness situation. What was your favorite subject in school? English. I mean, I didn't love any of them, but English was the best of the worst, if you know what I mean. What's the most unusual thing you've ever eaten? Fried alligator. Yes, it was in Florida. And yes, it does taste like chicken. Do you collect anything? Other than embarrassing moments? No. Is there anything you wish would come back into fashion? Yes, those like early 2000s little t-shirts that you'll see in a lot of early 2000s shows, especially like Gilmore Girls and stuff. I love those. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I am an extreme introvert. Like if I know you for a while and I warm up to you, then I become kind of extroverted, but most of the time I'm an introvert. Which of the five senses is your strongest? Um. Probably smell. I have a really strong nose. Have you ever had a surprise party? Yes, I have. Let me tell you that story. When I turned 15, my friends threw me a surprise party and I could not have been more surprised about this. My mom told me we were going to Chili's for my aunt's birthday and I walk in and I see all of my friends sitting at a table with a bunch of balloons. Instead of thinking like, oh, my birthday's coming up. This is probably a surprise party for me. I think that I'm still there for my friend's birthday and unfortunately my friends are also having a birthday party that I'm not invited to. So I turn around to my mom and I'm like, we have to leave. We have to leave my friends here. I can't be here. My mom is just smiling like this. Pushing me towards the table. So then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, our table is right next to them. This is awful, this is awful. And then they yell, surprise! And then I get clued in that it's a surprise party. But <laughs> I was so frazzled and like my heart, it took me like 20 minutes for me to like calm down and focus and actually like enjoy the party because I was so thrown off. Are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? No, I wish. Oh wait, no, actually my great uncle was a famous singer in New York, a lot, but it was a long time ago. He was somewhat famous, like he toured. What's your favorite form of exercise? I like going for walks or riding on the spin bike. Does your family have a motto? Not that I know of. Maybe like, always be kind, I don't know. If you were the ruler of your own country, what would you name it? Patopolis or Patopoli. I don't know, one or the other. Who was your favorite teacher in school? It was my 10th grade humanities teacher. What TV show are you watching right now? Dance Moms, it's insane and I love it. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Do not put in washing machine. What's your favorite song at the moment? Tummy Hurts by Renee Rapp. Who would you most like to have dinner with, alive or dead? <sighs> Walt Disney? I'm not as much of a Disney adult as I'm making it seem, I swear. Who was your first crush? It was Uncle Jesse from Full House. I was three years old and that crush lasted until I was about six. What's the most interesting thing you can see out of your window? A waterfall. On a scale of one to 10, how funny are you? Like a five. A six if I'm feeling inspired. Third pan, filled up. I'm running out of space to put this. Okay. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I don't like questions like this because I don't know what the future holds. In 10 years, hopefully I'll be married with like seven more cats. What was your first job? A nanny when I was 15. If you could join any music group, what would it be? I'm not a singer, so it'd have to be a group with a lot of people so I could just like stand in the background and lip sync a glee cast <laughs> how many languages do you speak uno english <laughs> when is your birthday february 8th okay i've officially emptied this tub of cookie dough and i've still got four more i could lie to you and just act like i'm rolling up cookie dough even though it's ones that i've already used but i'm gonna be truthful with you i'm gonna go look and see if we have any more cookie dough somewhere in the house <gasps> oh my god 
God, we do! Thank God for my sister, when she was home over Christmas break, she bought sugar cookie dough and she never used it. So our last four cookies are gonna be sugar cookies. Thank you, Anna Clay. Where were we? What is your star sign? I am an Aquarius, and I don't know much about astrology. From what I've seen, I think people like Aquarius women, but Aquarius men. You guys are in the trenches. I don't know what you did, but you need to fix it. People hate you. Who is the most intelligent person you know? <sighs> my sister. She is incredibly smart. She excels at everything she's ever tried. I'm the older sister, and yet I still find myself living in her shadow. It's really fun. I love it. What is one thing you will never do again? Um, babe, it's really bad for you. It's not good. I should never do it again. And number 100. Who knows you best? Probably my mom. Sorry, that's kind of a boring question for the 100th question. I feel like I should tell you a secret or something to make it more interesting. One time I threw up at a Lauren Daigle concert. There you go. Here are all my cookies. I'm going to put them in the oven and then I'll see you when they're baked. I hold before you now 100 chocolate chip cookies. Well, 96 chocolate chip cookies and 4 sugar cookies. 100 cookies for 100 subscribers. One for each of you. If you're one of those people, leave your address down below and I'll get one of these cookies to you ASAP. Um, they're actually hurting my hand to hold. They're very heavy. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for 100 subscribers. Seriously, that's amazing. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!